Welcome guys to OMG Let's Talk. We're covering 90 Day Fiance season 10 episode 12. If you guys like our videos, please hit that like button and subscribe. We're covering Jasmine and Gino. Check out the new intro I made. Oh my god. OMG. Oh Let us know what you think god. about our intro. Oh my god. So, nothing really happened oh with Jasmine and Gino, god. right? They were just <laughs> The intro is good. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you can't. Jesse, see it. I know Jesse needs to fix it. Where I know. I it. just wanted to throw it in. I'll fix. I'll fix it all later. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I just made it like thirty minutes ago. Perfect. Great. Yeah, check out our intro. Let us know what you think. Um, so Jasmine and Gino, they didn't really have much this episode. They're still in Miami. I guess it's their first night actually going out and doing some dancing. And salsa dancing. You know, mm. trying to do some salsa dancing. He's yes, apparently not the can, best. Yes, can we see this before? Loose, loose your body. Just I, film this. Looks to. like he's on like an Wait, elliptical or a stair like stepper or some shit. But that's the before. <laughs> Dude. Three, before ten, he was five, six, seven. Let's before he got the golden shower and became a man. All right, ready. Great. It was so stupid. They, yeah, nothing happens. They salsa dance, and she's like, "Oh my god, thank God, Gino is not stepping on my toes. He yeah. steps on my toes." He d he looks like he improved a little bit. Yeah, but they didn't really do much other than the footwork. Dance a little. I mean, they're happy. That's all I can say. That's kind of the point of the For whole now. segment. They're like, yeah, it was a great night. Next morning, everything is going the way that I hoped it would go they're finally in a good position for the day they're happy because she's on vacation damn you're so right Wait till she gets back dude if she's not getting oh, what she wants she's finish. like the she's like a brat doll like yeah it reminds me of a little like teenage girl who if she doesn't get what she's want she's gonna be throwing a fit the whole time and if she's having a great time everyone's having a great time mm-hmm uh, she's making more videos for her son. And I don't know if oh this was God. ever disclosed before, but Gino speaks about wanting children. And Jasmine... He talked about it before. Yeah, well, I'm did. sorry, not that part, this part. Jasmine's youngest son has special Casey. needs. Yeah I, yeah, I didn't know that either. I guess it's very hard. And Jasmine's like, oh my god, it's a struggle. But honestly, I don't think that Jasmine takes care of him. The ex-husband does, so... She is literally what I'm reminded of, like... She tries to play as the mother, but she I'm looks like she's never like been in these child's lives. Almost my 50s now. And I'd like to imagine you to had a special needs soon. kid. Would you ever leave them or would you go to the U.S. without them? Absolutely not. But she's trying to say it's to bring them here. But at the same time, that's what's also cringe is that she's not going to give Gino his own kid yet. She's going to be like, I'm going to pack your house with my own kids. Like, I mean, exactly. me as a woman, if you had your own two kids, I would definitely compromise I, your age. Get your it's because she has a boob job. She's going to have to get those out if you have a kid. That's number one thing. You can't have silicone in when you have kids. It fucks with you. If you're planning on breastfeeding. No, just period, because your breasts will get big no matter what to create milk. Your boobs get so really just... big. Yes, because they're afraid of it popping. Like, literally oh. popping your skin. Yes. <laughs> well, that and she had, like, a tummy tuck. She had her butt yeah, down. So she's like, going to have to redo the tummy tuck. She's going to have to redo her boob job. I... 36, I mean, it's kind of pushing it, but at the same time, I also was saying, like, she's like, you can't know if something's going to be wrong. You can't predict it. Yeah, besides and I'm like, you're in the fucking U.S. Or her body, she doesn't mention any of that. The only thing that she mentions, mentions is that she's scared to have another child because the last kid that she had has special needs, and she doesn't want to give birth to another person that That's has to deal with up. it. Which is very selfish. It's honestly. very fucked up. Absolutely. And Gino even calls yeah. her out. Gino, like, like, I love him no matter what. Like, yeah. that's our kid. Like, like I want Gino's it. Gino's like, it doesn't matter. It's life. Like, yep. you don't. It, yeah, it's still your child. And Jasmine uses this, ex this example. She's like, I know he doesn't know what's going on, but I do. And I'm like, okay. Uh, like, oh, my God. If you guys have watched Down for Love on Netflix, people with special needs are, like, the sweetest people ever 
Yeah, and they don't. They care. always talk about yeah. There's a hard period with them, but it seems like they bring the family together all the time. They're like, if it wasn't for so and so, yeah, we wouldn't be as happy. Our family wouldn't be as together. She's. As you can tell, she's always thriving to have, like, this image in her life, and that's why she gets really pissed about shit. She needs the perfect ring. She needs the perfect husband. She needs to be in the U.S. She needs the perfect body. I don't know where it comes from. So having a kid mentally challenged, I think, fucking breaks her image, and that's why the other kid hasn't been on TV. That's why he hasn't been talked about until now. Until now. My opinion. And she somehow feels responsible, I guess. She said, like, I ruined him. There's nothing, I don't think, at least. That Unless she beat his ass like, when he was, like, young and retarded because she, she seemed that like, crazy. Drinking through the whole pregnancy. I don't know. Maybe she did do something that she wasn't supposed to be doing mm. while pregnant. I, but I have e- no idea. Even then, she was just saying, like, you can't tell or you won't know. And, like, science and medicine gotten so far, like, fucked up. People do have abortions if their kids are going to be mentally challenged. So, like, even for her to say that as a reason right now, it's, like... That's not even a reason because there's so many ways around it in medical science. And that's yeah. just even and, fucked and up that people that's... do it. And that's Gino's point is like, I don't care what it is. Like, I want my own biological child. And those tests are never like fully correct. My sister was told that she was going to have a special needs kid, and my niece is 100% normal. So that's fucking crazy. How sad would 100%. that be? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she was like crying for like three months of her pregnancy because she thought that that was gonna happen, and they're like, uh, "Did you want to have an abortion?" And she's just like, "No." So she's like, "So glad she did it." Yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah, that's my <sighs> point though. I know it's such a touchy subject, but her excuses. I'm saying there's just so many ways to work around any of that. But either way, if she's gonna bring two bites kids to the u.s and gino's ass gotta pay for all that and not have his own kid that's so fucked you know it's 54 and he's okay with that apparently so what? there's old guys that like to have kids gino is obviously mentally um he's immature the, he has the fucking special needs they're for sure gonna have a special needs child because of him because is that why Justin's <laughs> concerned like well gino probably you got the gene well, we seem like the cousins and stuff, so we know it runs in his family. He's got the bad genos. Oh. <laughs> that needs to be a shirt. And it needs to have a Let's... Geno's face on it. Mixed into yeah. molecules that makes up a gene molecule. <laughs> Sequence. You just gave away our idea. <laughs> we, need... <laughs> we need to start like a marketplace or like, like where we... people could purchase our shirts that we make or something dude like we should do some merch shirts. honestly it wouldn't it doesn't take much you do canva go to walmart print that shit out like it's just designing yeah. it is what takes the time but that's the funnest part about this show there's probably so much shit like coffee mugs and sayings mm-hmm. jasmine crying on a coffee mug <laughs> <laughs> wait that would make me depressed every morning like oh yeah we need a happy one okay mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that's Let it us know for... in the comments, though, if yeah. you guys think that Jasmine is actually scared of having a special needs child or if she's being selfish and doesn't want her body ruined. Yeah, It's a think, very touchy subject. Do you think so if another person open. asked if she wanted her baby, she would say yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like Dan. Like Dan, Ooh. Greg's boyfriend. Well, oh, I forgot. That's another thing is that this ends with her saying, like, man, Gino's been, like, the best he's ever the, been. The coming up. It is. Yeah. All the dope stuff is coming up in the next episode. It was kind of like a slow burner, this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all in the next one. Well, so what's in the next one? We can, we can give a spoil. I mean... We'll just give a little spoil just, that Jasmine's starting to feel guilty. Shows Jasmine having an interview saying, you know, Gino's been the best. This has been like one of the best vacations we've ever had. He's really trying for us. But I still feel bad because I haven't told him that my ex... Paid for my butt. <laughs> I cannot wait for that conversation so, to happen. I'm expecting <laughs> it to happen in the next episode. But we'll see. I'll have to come back and find out, guys. Check it out with us because we're going to talk. So, she. But that's it for Jan and Gizmo. Jan, Jan, Jan and Jesus. <laughs> Jan and Gizmo. This Ch- week. Cheesmo. Gino Gizmo. It was a short segment. That was it. Please like, subscribe to our videos. We appreciate it. <laughs> the 
with any other couples that you want to see, check out our channel because we're breaking all of the people on 90 Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to listen. <laughs> I'm just saying quotes Jasmine would say, like she lets Panama for him and the family can't be at the wedding. I hate Michigan. It's so All right. Cool. See you guys.